Hi, I'm David Wall with Target Sales. Thank you for choosing BBJ and Speed Clean. Today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to use our tools and chemicals to easily clean a duct-free system evaporator. Included in our kit today is our mini split first aid kit, which has our micro coil clean and mold control. We're also going to be using our mini split bib kit from uh, Speed Clean that has our uh, deflector brackets, uh, roll of tape, and the bib you see here. We're also going to be employing our coil jet from Speed Clean to help uh, with rinsing. As you can see, we've already prepped our unit. Now, since every unit's different, we're going to leave that up to you guys as to the method to your madness. But we've gone ahead and removed the panels that are necessary to uh, access the blower wheel and the coil. We've used our tape, our roll of tape that's included in our bib kit, and isolated the electronics and uh, protected those from any kind of moisture. Once you've isolated your electronics using the roll of tape provided and readied your system, first step we're going to do is to use the deflector panels behind the unit itself between the wall and the back of the unit to keep water from running down behind the bib. Once your deflector panels are in place, grab your bib and use the brackets that are included and already attached to fit behind each side of your evaporator. The bungee should go behind the deflector panels that you placed earlier. Since every unit is sized differently, you will have to adjust your bungee cord. Again, make sure that your bungee cord is behind the deflector panels all the way around the unit. This is going to keep water from running down your wall. Make sure your brackets are secure and your bungee system has been tightened. Now for a particularly dirty unit, you may want to rinse uh, your blower wheel and your coil first to uh, moisten the mold and dirt that's in there as well as loosen uh, the excess that you can before applying your micro coil clean. We're going to use our coil jet by Speed Clean, which is, allows us remote capability with water and battery power to give up to 125 psi to clean this uh, coil and blower wheel. Since this unit is excessively dirty, we're going to go ahead and loosen what we can before we apply our micro coil clean. All of our runoff should end up in our bucket. It's important to remember to place your five gallon bucket below your bib as you do this. Don't forget to come down from below and spray your blow spray your blower wheel. That's going to get gunked up as well in these evaporators. Now that we've rinsed our coil on our blower wheel, we're going to apply our micro coil clean by BBJ. You want to apply this rather liberally to all your coil surfaces and your blower wheel. Just like any other BBJ product, it's very people friendly and environmentally friendly. So you don't have to wear any extra protection that you uh, might with other heavier chemicals. Now this is a waterless formula, so if you're doing regular maintenance on your evaporator and it's not quite as gunky, you don't have to actually use water with this. But with our particular application, and probably a lot of the ones that you'll run into, you will need to rinse because of the large volume of mold and dust buildup. What I'm doing here is just spinning the blower wheel, making sure I get covering all my bases. 
in all areas of the blower wheel here. Now you're going to want to wait three to five minutes to let this stuff set in. After you waited three to five minutes to let that uh, coil clean sink in, go ahead and use your coil jet and uh, rinse your coil blower wheel off. Regular maintenance will uh, keep you from having to rinse this as heavily. If you're not getting as much water as you might think in your bucket, a lot of what you're spraying here is going to end up in your condensate line. One uh, a benefit to that is that a lot of this micro coil clean is going down that line. It's going to take care of your mold there as well. After you're done rinsing off all your uh, micro coil clean, go ahead and apply your mold control. Because it's from BBJ again, it's non-caustic. You don't have to worry about uh, wearing any extra protection. This is going to give you 12 up to 12 months of uh, mold control for your coil and most importantly for your blower. And that's your final step. What you're going to do is uh, now is just a little cleanup. Obviously, remove your plastic uh, cover and reassemble your unit. Uh, I think you'll find that using these tools and chemicals is going to turn a 30 minute mess into what can be a 15 to 20 minute job once you've uh, learned how to use these. Thank you for your time and enjoy these tools. <laughs>